Hey, what's going on? Luke here, and we are back on Rub League Live 4, and we're going to be playing another game with the Nines format. Now, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be taking on the PNG Quimbles, and I feel like every year there's always talk about PNG getting an NRL side, so I thought it'd be fun to go and take on that actual international side and see how we go against them, especially in the Nines, because we're going to be playing with Australia, so there is going to be a bit of a mismatch, but I thought with the Nines format, you never know what's going to happen. So we're going to be playing against Australia, we're going to be taking on the PNG Quimbles, and fingers crossed we can pick up another victory in the Nines. Now, we're just about to jump on Rub League Live 4, but before we do so, I just want to take time to say if you haven't enjoyed this Video, make sure you go ahead and leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Also, make sure you use the notification bell. Don't rely on the sub boxes, don't rely on suggested videos. Use the notification bell and never miss any of my videos. Also, we had to go ahead and give me a follow on social media, it's on the screen right now. It's Miss Luke and YT for the most part. My Facebook is Miss Luke, but everything else, including Snapchat, including TikTok, is Miss Luke and YT. So, go ahead and give me a follow, give me an ad, do all that sort of stuff. Also, go ahead and check out the merch. There is a link in the description below. You can see a design on the screen right now. If you like that design, go and check out the rest of them and maybe pick up some with your own Christmas is coming up so definitely go ahead and pick up some also I do need to give a special mention to the sponsor of this video you know exactly where I'm going with this one it's Manscaped who is the best in men's blow the waist grooming champions of the world Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels. Manscaped's just launched their fourth generation trimmer, the Lawnmower 4.0, all across Australia and New Zealand. You heard that right, the 4.0. Join over 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code MrLuke at Manscaped.com. Now I've been on the lookout for a new razor to use and honestly, I never used an electric one because, well, I can't really grow a beard so I've never really had a reason to have one but I do need something for the other areas but I wasn't sure about using an electric trimmer but let me tell you, the Lawnmower 4.0 works it's as simple as that and I'm a bit of a rookie in this field I've been in the Rookie of the Year calculations for the Dallium's rather than the actual Dallium metal itself at least in terms of this sort of stuff but thanks to the advanced skin safe technology which reduces grooming injuries my nether regions are as safe as Nathan Cleary kicking a conversion from the sideline the Lawnmower 4.0 charges wirelessly is waterproof so you can use it in the shower and even has a couple different lengths you can cut to so I might even have to try it on my actual hair seeing as I can't get to the hairdressers <laughs> Actually, since filming this, I actually did get a haircut, and I'll be honest, I didn't actually use Manscaped. But let's just imagine I did. Let's not ruin the story. Let's just go with it. Fellas, it's time to make trimming your time and not a chore. Make me time the best time and go ahead and try the Lawnmower 4.0. Like I said earlier, I have a discount code, which is Mr. Luke, which can be used at manscaped.com. The link is in the description below, as well as the discount code. Guys, can't stress this enough. Support the people who support me, and more importantly, support Manscaped. Alrighty, that's the intro over and done with. We are now on Rubber League Live 4. You can see Legend Difficulty, Eden Park, because that's where the Orca Nines is normally held. Although I know it's been in Perth and a few other places now. But Eden Park is where it's at. Let's take a look at the lineups though. So this is the Australian side from the 2019 International World Cup. You've already seen that. I've used them a couple times. Let's take a look at this Papua New Guinea side. And this is from the 2017 World Cup. There are a lot of changes from 2017 to 2021, obviously. A lot of guys retired. Guys like I'm seeing right now, David Mead, uh, Nana McDonald hasn't played for quite a while in terms of NRL. Uh, Paul A. Time, I think might be overseas. Reese Martin, Super League. Seki Arrow being out suspended with a drugs ban. Red Griffin, I'm pretty sure he used to be at the Bulldogs. Luke Page, I'm not sure where he is now, but he was a guy who was a bit of a social media star, but didn't really hit it off in the NRL. Kurt Baptiste, been around to a couple clubs. Uh, look, this is a very, very good side. This is not the default side, by the way. Um, had to make a few changes. Uh, brought Lockie Lamb in, because I feel like he would be in this side in 2021, where he wasn't in the side in 2017. Had a couple guys. I actually had these Boas guys. I had uh, Assi Ace Boas? Assi Boas, apologies for the pronunciations. And there was another guy who had the same last name as well. So... Um, they, I think they were the default halves, whereas Lock and Lampot, Aton, I've chucked him in there. Reese Martin was on the bench. Uh, Rob Griffin, Luke Page also on the bench. There's a lot of guys who could probably be in the side right now as well. He probably weren't even on the scene in 2017. So that's the side that we're running with. Justin Olam is the man to look out for. Nana McDonald, I'm assuming, would be quite devastating. Same with David Mead. Got to watch out for them, guys. Then you got Reese Martin, Segi Arrow. They actually have a good starting side. The bench, not so much, but on the nines on Red League Live 4, the bench isn't really important. So hopefully we get off to a good start and hopefully we pick up a win. Here we go. The Kangaroos up against Papua New Guinea. Uh, look, here is the sides. Once again, we've already taken a look at it, but you can see them running out there. David Mead leading them out. That is actually a really good player model. The David Mead looks pretty much spot on. I think he's still at the Broncos this year, maybe. Is he still there or is he, is he a fully gone? I can't remember. I know he's definitely at the Broncos last, but I don't know if he retired this past year. I'm actually having a blank on David Mead, but has been a legend of the game, especially for the Titans. Uh, you've got our team coming out here. Caleb Ponga still wearing the Knights nice headgear. Is he going to be wearing a Redcliffe headgear in a couple years? We'll see. I, I think he was sat at the Knights, nice, but got Joy Arrow on the bench here. Nathan Brown, Gutherson, Brimson. Brimson and Gutherson are the ones that I use quite a lot off the bench. You got the Fox on the screen right now with the big beard. Love to see it. So that's the run out's done. That's the intro sort of done. Let's get into the game. Let's go. Mitchell Moses gets us going. Go on, shoulder bars straight away. 
Oh, heat your space up the wing. Oh, no, there's not. Puppy's been really good for me, though, so we need to take advantage of him and the Fox. Let's get the Fox more involved this game. Go. Go, Tyson Brazil. Oh, my God. If he had someone with a little bit more pace. No, he is quite fast in real life. So, I'm about getting the Fox more involved. Let's go. Let's get the Fox involved. Here we go. Plenty of space up the wing. There's no space. Oh, no. I've overran it. I've overran it. I thought they were passing to the other player. Instead, they make a line break there. Reese Martin it was, too. Oh, he read that perfectly. Read that perfectly. Benny Hunt there wraps up Lachlan Lamb on the fourth, too. Oh, they get up the bomb. They get up the bomb. It is little puppy. Up against Nana McDonald. Nana McDonald gets it. Tackle him, please. Thank you. Actually, it wasn't even McDonald's. It was actually Justin Olin. But either way, they got the ball. But it was a good tackle. Good result in the end for us. Just run. Run, mate. Run. Go, Mitchell Moses. Mitchell Moses killing it for me. Gonna go head to the left here. Come on. Look, Bernie, Bernie. There we go. Tyson Frizzell. See if Tyson Frizzell is doing that. Come on. Let's follow it up with a little Fox run. Come on, Fox. Come on, Fox. Step him. We're gonna have to go with Mitchell Moses here. There is a lot of space there. There's a lot of space. There's a lot of space for Mitchell. Oh, he's gonna get wrapped up. Wrap. Get the offload. Offload it. And is that a four pass? Yes, it is. Oh, we get stepped. They get stepped, but then they throw the pass. And it's also going to go to half time. I definitely need to take down the difficulty. I'll make the game last longer. I'll do something because there's been too many half time deficits. Well, no deficits at all. Just nil at half time. So, Reezy Martin to get the game underway. Let's go, Australia. Come on. I need to score. I need to score really soon. Go on. Go on. Go on. Mitchell Moses. Take. Oh, he gets tackled. That's the story of my life in the nines. Lots of line breaks and then just getting wrapped up very, very easily. And that's knocked down by them. That was literally touched by them. That is a knock on 100%. That's forward. That was forward. There we go. Super lucky there because if that wasn't forward, he's over untouched. Probably a bonus try. Just something there. Oh, that a car. I didn't think it was going to go to him. They're just like, there's no spacing at all in this. And, oh, here we go. Go, go. Mitchell Moses, come on. You just can't really run set plays, but they're so quick, these PNG players. Back through the middle. Back through the middle. Get the ball. Oh, my God. That's surely a knock on by them. Although, I would have went backwards, actually. But, ah, uh, so annoying. Once again, line break after line break, but no tries. Kick pressure, kick pressure, Moses. Kick pressure, Moses. How's that not tackled? How's that not tackled? Unless you go through him. You cannot be serious. Go on, Fox. And he gets caught. Come on, Kalen. Come on, Kalen. You're my man. Come on. How does he get tackled? Heading crossfield. Heading crossfield. Here we go. Oh my god, how'd you not get suckered in? Go on, back through the middle. That's six to go. That all six to go. Four to go, I mean. A few moments later. Oh, he dropped the ball. First tackle. You imbecile. Who was that? David Feeder, was it? Huh? Was it David Feeder? Yeah, you're off, mate. You're off. You're hooked. You're hooked. Nathan Brown on. Oh, and a high tackle, too. They're actually going to win this game. They're actually going to win this game, PNG, through a field goal or something. Big hit! There we go! Nathan Brown actually went off, but you watch. They're still going to kick a field goal. Good tackle, good tackle. That's a really good tackle, actually. Okay, this is literally the last play of the game. Watch him kick a field goal. Come on, wrap him up. There we go. We're going to get to full time. I don't know if that's a good thing. I'm celebrating about a nil or at full time, but at the same time, I haven't lost yet. Alrighty, golden trade is Mitchell Moses get the game underway. I don't know if I would rather, like, concede the kickoff or, or do the kickoff. Just no line breaks, please. Oh, we read that. Pick it up. There we go. That is perfect. Oh, my God. I should have offloaded the... Would have been under the post. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Look how easy this is. As soon as he gets a golden try, every time Gutherson fresh on the field, goes over untouched. What an easy try. And I can't believe the game's over just like that. It's been a tough game so far. This happened last time, too. It's tough all the way until the golden try. And then I just get the ball easy and just score pretty much straight away. I'll be honest. It's kind of a little bit... Anticlimactic. You think with the golden try it's going to be this big epic try or something, but instead it's just a bit of a shit little try like that. But Gutherson goes over, wins the game for Australia, wins the game for me. But anyways, that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. If you did happen to enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Also make sure to use the notification bell. Don't rely on the sub boxes. Use the notification bell and never miss any of my videos. Also we got to go ahead and give me a follow on social media. It's on the screen right now. It's Miss Luke and YT for the most part. My Facebook is Miss Luke, but everything else, including TikTok, including Snapchat, is Miss Luke and YT. Go ahead and give me if I give me an ad to that sort of stuff also go ahead and cop some of the merch there is a design on the screen right now and if you happen to think that one looks pretty good go and check out the rest of them like I said link is in the description below also I need to mention the sponsor of this video Manscaped I have a discount code which is Mr. Luke it gets you 20% off and free shipping worldwide go ahead and use it go ahead and buy the lawnmower 4.0 it's the only product I'll ever use down there and their tagline is your balls to thank you my balls definitely are thanking me so like I said use my code Mr. Luke gets you 20% off free shipping worldwide you won't be disappointed your balls will thank you go and use
use that code. Alrighty guys, that's how I'm going to end this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more content on the channel. I've got plenty of stuff to be uploading over the next couple of months. So like I said, stay tuned for more and I'll see you on the next one. See yous.